So today, at New Haven Arms, we're going to talk through and discuss Adam's setup of his Weatherby 307 in 65 Creedmoor, uh, his optic choice, uh, magazine system, bipod, some ammunition, and a couple of different silencer options that we're going to go for. Uh, Adam's primarily going to be using this setup for deer management, uh, and then on the odd occasion, just some target shooting, ringing some still at some different distances. Okay, so Adam, what's what's led you to deciding on the Weatherby 307? Well, I really wanted uh, a weapon that was in 6.5 Creedmoor, um, and I wanted something that had quite a modern look. Um, I also really like the style of the palm swell here. It really fits my style of shooting with the thumb shelf. Um, and also, just because it's a, a new model, uh, I wanted something that was uh, fairly contemporary that not everyone else was shooting. Um, and just the design as well. Let's be honest, I think a lot of people choose guns based on how they look, and I'm no different. Um, I like the fluting both at the um, barrel and also in the bolt. I just think it's a really smart gun that I'm not going to be too precious about out in the field. Yeah, it's, it is very modern and it's a very nice looking rifle. You can see uh, we've got the spiral fluting, so it increases surface area, reduces some weight. Spiral fluting on the bolt, it's very nice. Ease of uh, gliding um, as the bolt's moving forward and backwards. Nice fast cycling uh, bolt system there. Uh, moving on to the bolt system, do you want to give us a quick demo, Adam, of how to strip that bolt down? Yeah, it's unbelievably simple. In case you get any problems, out it comes. Get it wet, get it cold, doesn't really matter. Putting it back together again, just as easy, really. It's nice and simple, straightforward. Little bit of a little bit of pressure applied to the rear of the bolt. The bolt handle itself then removed, and then the spring and the firing pin system come out, uh, leaving the bolt shroud, the bolt handle, um, and the internals of the bolt in three separate pieces. So nice and easy, very simple to use. Uh, magazine fitting then, so it's retrofitted with a uh, Magpul magazine conversion kit. It comes with a five shot Magpul magazine. Um, they're AICS compatible magazines. Nice and easy to use, very straightforward. Magazine release is very, very simple. It's just push, magazine falls out, put it back in, and you get a nice audible click to let you know your magazine is seated properly. Uh, trigger's great on this, it's a trigger tech trigger. Yep. Uh, we've adjusted this trigger so it breaks at two pounds crisp and clean every single time uh, and it will make for some very accurate shooting. Um, our next phase after this is going to be taken out to the range. Uh, we're going to zero it and then engage from stills out to 500 meters. So moving on then, we've got some options on sound moderators. So we fitted the uh, ATEC A-Lock system. This is the A-Lock mini adapter. And then we've got two options for our sign moderator, we've got the Optima 60, okay, and then we've got the Optima 45. Both options are very good, they're very straightforward. Uh, sign reductions, 28 to 32 decibels, slightly more with the 60, but then you've got the increased size and weight. Uh, if you fill them, there's not too much in it at all. You can't really notice any difference, but what you will notice is the size of it on the front of the, of the rifle. And all we do with the A-Lock system is just clip it in like that. That's then mounted and it won't, it's fitted to the rifle, it'll not move. Taking it off then, again. And we can mount different sound moderators to different rifles very quickly. So you have one adapter on each rifle and then you can use the sound moderator for each rifle. So the same sound moderator. Very simple, very straightforward. The sound reduction is very good on these sound moderators as well. We pretty much use them exclusively here at New Haven Arms. Ammunition then. Today we're gonna to take a look at um, two different brands of ammunition. Uh, we've got the Barnes Vortex LRX, which is the long range ammunition. And then we've got the Hornaday Match in a 140, Hornaday Match in a 147, and we've got the Hornaday 143 grain ELDX, so that's your precision hunter. Ammunition obviously is very important. We need the correct uh, ammunition to target match. 
uh, but also it's got to be price effective as well for practicing and training with that ammunition. Uh, and we'll see which one shoots the best today and then Adam will go away with a batch of that ammunition and he'll then get to grips with the rifle and the ammunition combination and we'll move forward from there. And we'll show you, we'll show you the different effects of that ammunition on targets, be it still and live targets when we're out there stalking with it as well. Okay, so Adam's optic of choice for this setup is a Schmidt & Bender Polo T96. It's a four to 16 by 56, and it's a first focal plane scope. BDC style turret on the top. Uh, we've got parallax and illumination on the optic as well. This is a very, very good hunting setup optic. You've got light transmission, one of the highest light transmissions on the market. It's mounted in a tier one mono mount rail system. Uh, very good, very cost effective way to mount um, a precision optic to a precision rifle. These, these optics are industry leading in hunting. They are very, very good, very effective. Easy and simple to use our BDC and on a later video out on the range and out stalking, we're gonna show you how, that, how simple and straightforward that is once it's zeroed. They do come with the Tenebrex system uh, covers, which are very good uh, because you can spend a lot of money on scope covers. These are very effective in all weathers, keeping your optic clean and dry so that when you go to take that, that shot, that all important shot, you don't have to have that compromised.